Guys, in this project, we are having to replace an older UNT. This is the UNT 1144-0, and we will be replacing it with the exact model, uh, but one thing that I've got to do is to pull the program from this particular controller to put it in the new one. And to do this, if you have never worked on any of these legacy controllers, particularly those that are N2 based, you are going to need one of these modules right here. Uh, you're also going to need the HVAC Pro, as you can see here, that we're running where we're uploading that program. And if you have a newer computer, you will probably have to have a USB to serial adapter right here. Uh, I will put a link to that adapter down in the description to where you can pick one of those up. Uh, unfortunately, these, you will need to contact Johnson Controls directly to try to obtain one of them. Um, I will tell you that uh, they can be a little bit of a challenge to get a hold of at times. And, of course, this older technology is going away, uh, but, you know, a lot of the newer stuff is replacing it, but there's still quite a bit of it out there. Whenever you replace one of these, something that you have got to be very mindful of is all of the dip switches. As you can see right underneath here, with your replacement, you've got to make sure that all of those get set correctly. If they do not, you will not have a functioning controller. It's not going to give you the accurate uh, readings as, as it should. These, are, of course, are the input jumpers, depending on the type of input. So if you have them set improperly, it's not going to read properly. But guys, it's just a quick video that I wanted to do. Uh, you can see here we have the program uploaded, and now we are going to begin the process of replacing this device. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.